Hi guys and welcome back to DPM TV. The Jag behind me is the one that we painted in the previous episode. This episode we're going to run through the flat and polishing process of it. So the techniques we use, the products we use and the finish we're able to achieve. So put the kettle on, sit back and enjoy. Right, so flatten and polishing. There's a lot of different techniques you can use, different processes you can do depending on the type of finish that you want to achieve. Um, we're gonna do a few videos on, say, accent repairs with just denibbing and polishing and some of the less in-depth processes that we do when we come to flat and polishing. For this jag that we painted, um, where the aim is to remove all the orange peel from the job, we wanna get rid of all those little ripples that you get in the paint as much as possible. So the first step we're gonna do is block with 1200 grit. We're using these 3M strips here, which are really good. Um, we're also using these blocks that I've made here. These are solid plastic, so again, you get a real good cut with them and it does level the paint off nicely. You've got to be careful of these not to leave tram lines, so again, you want to apply not very much pressure and go through it that way. Um, and then also, a nail brush. So any residue you get on those sheets at all, you can then just give it a quick scrub off and it's good as gold. So we're going to get this process done and dusted. So that's the Jag, all 1200 it up. Um, we've been using the solid blocks on the big flat surfaces. Another good tip to have is always have a bendy block so you can go around and do all the curves and um, saves it cutting in sort of too many flat spots. So next we're gonna 1500 DA. This helps remove all those cool scratch marks from the 1200. Important to use one, dust extraction, uh, interface pad and a 2.5 mil Orbit DA. This removes, it, well, saves having any pigtails in the paint. Um, we're using the Indasa 1500 discs which we uh, love to be fair, prefer them to the Trizac ones. So let's get it 1500 it up. That is now 1500 done on the Jag. Uh, the handy thing about going from uh, block flatting to da is once you da then you can wipe it off with a dry cloth. It almost acts as like a guide coat, so any sort of straight lines that you've got in there, scratch wise, you can go over again and then you make sure you get them all out. Um, this is the quickest stages now we're going through. That first initial cut with 1200 is always the stage that takes the longest. Um, we then move over to 3000. Um, again, we're using the 3M Trizax here. Um, 3M normally is the best stuff for wet flatting, apart from using the Indasa 1500 disc. So we go over this now with just normal DA, um, uh, again using it wet. Then my advice is always to go over it twice. So you do one pass with 3000, dry it off, go over again, and that just ensures that you've pretty much got everything. Um, and then we move on to 6000 and a uh, fun bit of polishing up. So let's do this. So that's 3,000 done all on the shell now, so we're going to move up finally to 6,000. Uh, we've gone over it twice with the 3,000 on there just to make sure we've got rid of all those little marks. Dry it off is the best thing, then you can look to see if there's any 1,500 scratches left. Um, we're going to do one pass with 6,000, especially as it's black, it just helps mop it up a little bit better. So we do this and then we get to polish it up. <laughs> So that's all the 6,000 done now, so we're going to start the polishing stage. Um, we're very diverse here with the products that we use. We're using a Freckler polisher here, but we're using the Raw 610 compound. Um, we've used all three, so we've used Freckler, 3M, 
Rule's our favourite at the moment, so we're going to go around and give it its first cut first. Um, we tend to go around give it its first cut. Um, we can then check for any imperfections that we want to flat back or any little ripples that we want to get out. Um, we then tend to build the vehicles back up, go around and about a week later we can go around and give it its final um, refinement. So go over again with a cut, then we'll go with a DA polisher and then get all the you know swell marks and everything out of it. So let's get this polished up. <laughs> So that is the Jag, uh, well the back end that we've just been flattened, all polished up at the moment. This is its first initial cut that we're going to do. Um, we can then check for any imperfections, so any other ripples that we want to get out, we can go around and do that. We're now going to make a start on the front section of it. Again, same process, so 1200 block, um, and then using those bendy blocks uh, or soft blocks to go around all the edges. We've also got a booth of, uh, full of the other panels for it, so they're going to go through, they're going to get them epoxied up, um, and it'll be the same process again, epoxy key it all up and then we're going to do four coats of uh, three coats of base sorry and then four coats of lacquer leave them to air dry we're getting fitted back up to the car and then run through flat and polishing them <laughs> So that is the Jag panels all painted up now. That's the remainder of all the panels. So we've got the bonnet, boot lid, door, and the uh, wheel spats. Um, so they've gone through the same process. Four coats are clear. We'll leave them to air dry. Um, we're really happy with how all the parts have actually come out considering the amount of work that's gone into it. The shell and all the panels have had about five to 600 hours of labor. No panels fit when we first got it. So all the doors have had to be trimmed down. Some of them have had to have TIG added to them to uh, get a consistent gap. Um, all the boot aperture we had to cut out and extend allowing the boot to actually shut properly. So yeah, we're really happy with how it's all turned out. Um, so we're gonna carry on, get everything flat and polished on it um, and then start reassembling the car. just came out. So that is the Jag shell now all polished up in its first initial stage. We've gone around the same procedure as what we did on the back panel that we showed you. Um, so now we can go around and inspect the panel, see if there's any little ripples or any flat marks that we've missed that we can then address, 1500, 3000, 6000, etc., and then just polish them up. We're now going through the next job of fitting up all the panels. We're gonna flat and polish them uh, probably tomorrow, um, and then the scary task of getting them fitted back to the car. So let's get started.
Right, so that's the Jag now assembled as far as we can go for the moment. We're waiting for some door hinges for it um, until we can get them all gaps on as well and then we can fit the rear wheel spats, get all them gaps together and then the car is completed as far as it is with us. It then goes back to have the engine fitted and then the interior all trimmed. So we're going to run through, get it all polished up now in its final stage um, and then we'll hopefully get a video to you guys once that's all done. Um, if there's anything you'd like to personally see, any videos specific that you'd like to see, um, run-throughs, how-tos, just drop a comment below and we'll do the best we can. Thanks for watching.